Hello, this is Angina from the Jurassic Coast Trust and today I want to tell you my top five facts about this gorgeous little fishing village in East Devon called Beer. Fact number one. Why is Beer famous for its stone? The stone itself is named after the town of Beer and it's been mined and quarried in the local area from Roman times. It's an ideal rock for making buildings out of because the stone is known as a freestone, which means it can be sawed or squared up in any direction. Beer quarry caves are nearby and you can visit them to see how rock has been carved out underneath the ground for over 2,000 years. You can take a tour through Beer Quarry Caves underground and learn all about the lives of the stonemasons and the quarrymen. Beer Stone has been used to construct some really important buildings in England, including Exeter Cathedral and even some buildings in the United States. Fact number two, does beer have a history of smuggling? Beer is a perfect place for smugglers. It's surrounded by these chalk cliffs, mainly beer head, which are incredibly resistant to erosion. This means the headland juts out into the sea, protecting beer from the prevailing winds and seas. This means it's a very safe haven for boats, particularly those that are smuggling contraband. One of the most famous smugglers that came from beer was Jack Rattenbury. He was known as Rob Roy of the West and he was born in 1778. Jack went to sea at the age of nine as an apprentice fisherman and he turned out to be a young man who was very clever and industrious. He had many adventures where he sailed all over the world and made his money from smuggling. Fact number three, why is the flint so special at beer? 6,000 years ago, when Neolithic man came to Beer, they discovered the black flint in the chalk rocks. Black flint was an incredibly useful rock. It could be shaped and sharpened to make cutting tools and axes. In 1645, the flint from Beer was also used in flintlock guns for the new model army. When a piece of metal strikes flint, it actually produces sparks and this is why beer flint was particularly useful in the flint lock guns. Fact number four. Why are the rocks at beer in the wrong place? The rocks that we see at beer, which are limestones and chalks deposited during the Cretaceous period, are actually in the wrong place. What we should see at beer are Triassic sandstones and mudstones deposited 250 million years ago. So what's happened? Where have all those Triassic rocks gone? At some point during the Paleogene period, which dates back to almost 66 million years ago, some major earth movements took place. There was some tremendous tectonic activity and the rocks were folded and faulted. The rocks at Beer were actually folded into a syncline. This meant that the rock layers actually dipped downwards towards the centre of the fold. The eastern part of the fold jutted up against a gigantic fault which we now know today as Seton Hole. As the rocks were faulted, the older rocks, these Triassic sandstones and mudstones, were thrown upwards by at least 60 metres, so now they sit unconformably against the Cretaceous chalks and limestones. So although from a geologist's point of view, the Cretaceous rocks at Beer are in entirely the wrong place, I think we can all agree they look fantastic just where they are. Fact number five, how can you visit Beer? Beer is a very accessible village. You can get there by train and the nearest station is Axminster. And of course you can catch a bus there there are plenty of bus services that run across the Jurassic coast that go to Beer. There are also car parks in the village and it's a very short walk to the beach itself and you do pass the Beer Heritage Centre and it's definitely worth having a look in there about the local history and geology. Enjoy your visit to Beer! Why 
not join the Jurassic Coast Trust and help to protect and conserve this incredible coastline? Find out more by clicking on the link.